There's a bee in my room. Apologies to everyone if... Uh, the bee in me bonnet. Yeah. Which, uh, I don't know, maybe I should look into the bees being as my cat gets stung by a bee. Well, I'm pretty sure I, that's it's had he'd all the signs of being stung by a bee and I took out something that looked stingish. But now there's another bee. So, uh, yeah, bees, what do they represent? Um, oh. Me? Loads of Sex. things. Sex. Birds and the bees. Okay, yeah. Um, mm. Oh, I'm sure there's a million things. I, I, I there's like a, I know it came up in the pairs and stuff I was reading as well. Bees are probably the secret rulers of the world. It's probably yeah. what we're talking about. <laughs> 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 These bees. Yeah, they're kick ass. You have to love bees, you know. Yeah. So uh, this episode will be slightly short, or maybe it's hard to know with us. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, we spent the last hour um, scrying the old eaters. Scrying the eaters. Scrying the eaters, yeah. Mister Tex. Yeah, so for people who don't know, it's the... Um, Did you assume my gender? Text is, <laughs> you know. It's um, it's a thing where you, you, there's 30 different levels of manifestation, that be a fair kind of thing. And I think so it's you, the levels of existence is the way existence. I understand it. Right. It's the way I understand it. And that you can uh, give give the secret code words uh, to, get, to have access to it, and then you, you say it, uh, badly pronounced by both of us. <laughs> And uh, Lon Milo the Cat, just, uh, he's a great pronunciation of it. He's a really nice flow and lilt to it when he does yeah. it. But uh, mine's a bit... You sound like a priest, in fairness. No, you sound nice. I'm like, I don't know, I'm terrible at that stuff. I'm, yeah. I remember even like reading in mass and stuff and like stumbling over, the, over words. And I'm like, you know, it's handier for me just to learn off something and then say it back. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Could you, it's yeah. an audience. Especially something, though, that's in, in a language you don't know. I know there is a translation <laughs> of it, but you're kind of going, where do I put the emphasis? And what you're actually going is, and he made a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. But it was interesting. I'm not sure I'll, I'll stick them up as podcasts, because it's kind of that kind of stuff, um, I think, is best served as, as a text piece anyway, when you read it, because there's so much space between yeah. the things. I think that's but, what uh, we should do. We should wait yeah. till they're all done, and then we can bundle them into a text thing and... Yeah, and if people want the videos, they can watch them as well. But it's like, it's just you know, mm. I'm even in blindfold, me in a blindfold. Yeah, and you can't, you can't, like, give your camera off. So there's not as if you can watch yeah. anything. It'll be like that last one, you know, when every time you talk, there's a freeze frame of me. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty minutes. But, um, yeah, we can stick them into Descript and uh, get some text versions of them. But it was interesting. Ours, mine was very different than yours in the. Um, Yours definitely had a narrative to it, like a kind mm. of a thing. And you kind of were directing it in a sense because you made a decision to, to look around you. Mm-hmm. It's good, you know, which is a good decision. I was kind of in hindsight go, that's a really good idea. Why, you know, <laughs> go somewhere and look around you. Hmm. <laughs> no, so, just look straight ahead. Like, yeah, horse, just, horse blinkers. Yeah, yeah essentially what I, do, I go to this wonderful kingdom and just look at one stone. Go, yeah, it was just a stone. <laughs> one stone the whole time. Anything else? I don't know. I've just seen the stone. My name is Tex. <laughs> I am a stone. I am a stone, yeah. I am the rock that the wave breaks upon. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, because it's so much, listen, I suppose, listen to that thing is like sometimes listen to someone's dream, you know? And it's, <laughs> no, really, I suppose, really means something to the person who's is having yeah. it. But, well, you know, you're, you're like you're, listening you're, to dreams, though, don't your you? Your friend's you, dreams, I like listening to it. But, like, some random stranger's dream, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but I know, no, in fairness, no, it depends I do, I do on the person like too. I think I think there's just a kind of a, a thing when, when women tell you their dreams that they tell you far too much detail. You know what I mean? But that's in, in general. I think with, with stories, you, you kind of like go four hours in general with women. Yeah, what did I do mean? That would have been one. rude. No, <laughs> the, 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 their stories are, have way too much detail for me per, on a personal level. Where it's like a fellow will tell you that yeah, the story. I went to the shop and I met Mark. A woman will go, I went to the shop and it was, I had a number of things that I had to do and I had previously been at the shop across <laughs> the thing last week or whatever. And then I, I seen Mark. Mark now, his, his brother uh, is married to the sister <laughs> of the cousin of the woman who you met. Remember, he was, he was wearing a green jumper at that wedding that you, you got drunk at. Remember that one? So anyway, I was in the shop. <laughs> Why was I in the shop? Oh yeah, I had to go and get my hair cut the day before and I was talking to Sarah and she was saying to me that the GAA isn't happening this week. So I mean, I have to remember, I was like, oh right. <laughs> 
You went to the shop, did you? You're literally, you're literally every Irish woman that has ever existed. <laughs> Yeah. I thought I was talking to my mother there for a second. <laughs> well, I'm not talking to her, listening to her. Right. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. so when you add that the, in uh, the nonsense of a dream into that. <laughs> so we were at school, but it wasn't really school, but I knew it was my school, but it was someone else's school. There was windows, but there weren't windows. There were sausages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so. Carl Young is there, like, slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> yeah, no, it's here. You know? I look like I'm drinking piss. but I, I was I'm just about to say, water. it looks yeah. like you're drinking piss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Apple, apple juice, I hope. No, it's the, you know, the dissolving tablet ah, stuff. Ah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yolks. Take an ecstasy to do a podcast. To <laughs> yeah. have to face, to have to face <laughs> miserable spud. Yeah. It's like a... Yeah, it was fun, though. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll work our way through them. It's going to take us a good while if we do one a week and then me off with horses and stuff like that. But yeah, you know, we'll work away. There's no rush on it. Like. No, there's no rush. And there's a, a good chance that we'll hit a block at some point anyway, which is... Supposedly, one of the, the ways you can uh, orient yourself upon the path where you are by mm-hmm. what what eight or you're allowed. To, I can't, I can't pronounce it properly because I keep going to eight or eight or eight or right. Um, the ether. Um, but Lon, remember, I was telling you, Lon, Lon Milo in his book says that um, if you get stuck on something, the reason you're stuck, the answer is in the previous the one. Previous one. Oh yeah, you did say that to me. Yeah. But then again, I mean, Jesus, we got a lot of visiony stuff there. Mm. If we get stuck on the next one, it could be Anton. <laughs> it could be anything, yeah. Like, uh-huh. Which part of the last one? <laughs> yeah, just, uh-huh. Oh, I suppose the answer would be if you're stuck, go back to the last one again and go, mm-hmm. What's, what am I missing here? Yeah. But it's, a, it's an interesting one. Um, I'd be interested now to go and see what other people have said about text because I don't, I know, I have Duncan's book, Duncan Barford's book, his whole thing, and I know Jason's been doing it as well. But I, t- I tried not to because you don't want to be influenced because yeah you don't want to be preloaded like yeah and you go oh this is the pyramid one or whatever and you go oh well I didn't see any pyramids did I fail (laughs) 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 but then if you do go to it and there is pyramids well that's that's really interesting you know yeah but um, whatever I'm sure there is a pyramid one that has to be right come on Um, or am I thinking that's the pyramids after crossing the abyss anyway some sort of pyramids Egypt yeah I don't know interesting anyway um I was going to say, yeah, so last week we never spoke about the ultra-terrestrial hunt. No, I, but I think we needed to sit with it for a while. I know I well, did. I think, like I, yeah. I've gone back a fourth time now and I'm still getting... I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I, look, at first I didn't... I enjoyed the second thing, second part of it. Yeah. But then for a couple of days I was like, yeah, I didn't really get out now that. And then going back, this the first time, I was like, oh, there's something. And then mm. like this morning was like the fourth time I've listened, listened back to it now and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, okay, there is actually plenty of stuff in there, like. Yeah. For those who don't know, uh, on May 25th, myself, Spud, Marco Visconti and Jason Nuggan Mandel, um, well, was annoying the Secret Chiefs yet again. It's what <laughs> it's what we seem to want to do um, using the Estes method. Look at me pronouncing it somewhat correctly. Whoop. Yeah. The Este method. It's just because I think I keep it looks French, so I want to pronounce it like you would in France. That's that's my whole problem with that word. And I guarantee you, it is Este. It's just that Americans would pronounce it Estes. Anyway, that's not a hill I'll particularly want to die on or anything. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm open to being incorrect on it. But uh, yeah, so as usual, we did two sessions. The first session always seems a bit sassy, a bit kind of more um, trickstery, a bit, you know, where you, we would have, I, well, I'll speak for myself, I would have a tendency to discount it a bit initially. Mm. And then it's uh, subsequently, when you look back, you go, oh, no, hold on, this isn't, quite as um, I suppose aggressive is the word or something like kind of uh, or, yeah. or kind of uh, but at the time it felt it definitely did at the time it? yeah, it, yeah. It, it, and you kind of have to bear that in mind that when you look back you're not getting the feeling you got at the time particularly when you're reading text because it's a lot of context is taken out mm. because like of course the inflection how people are saying it the, the kind of tone is there a question mark at the end of that or is it an exclamation mark it should it be a smiley all those things <laughs> Um, poo emoji yeah, yeah poo emoji yeah. <laughs> eggplant <laughs> and so then the second one seems from the beginning seems to be more on you know it's the people there but again there seem to be two people involved or whatever um, but I, I kind of felt after it and the reason why I kind of usually after it when we do things like this myself and yourself and whoever we've been uh, doing it with you know spend the next week two weeks six yeah. years just you know, going through every bit of it and trying to find out what it was, and we did for a while for a bit of it, an hour or two after, and then 
was kind of silence for a bit. Yeah. You know? And every now and again, someone would go, <laughs> maybe, maybe the pigeon is the, no, or whatever. And uh, but what I felt was because it didn't, it didn't feel it was about me, <laughs> you know. And I don't mean that in a kind of narcissistic. Why isn't it about me? I, it felt like you no, know, this that I was there while. No, I didn't think it was about you, and it was certainly a lot of it about Marco. Like the, the, on, mm -hmm. on the, you know, even, even maybe you could you could have an argument that um, that's very on a superficial level. It seems very much there was some stuff really at Marco, um, but it felt more general, and it felt I suppose in one sense as well because we were talking about Hellier and all of that kind of stuff. And while I'm interested in that, I'm not that interested in it. You know what I mean? The, in the. Um, that I was kind of going, the, the subject matter, and talking about Indrid Cole and Terry O'Rist and all this kind of stuff. I was going, yeah, it's interesting, but I don't know. Maybe I was thinking, is that why? Because I'm not really that interested in it. Mm. Even though I am. I mean, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, know, yeah, I love yeah, Hallie, yeah. I love all that kind yeah. of like going. Well, looking back now, like, I mean, mm. it was, it was, I had most of the questions there, but it was because. Oh, mm. yeah, but I once said that's my own fault because I, I, I was kind of, I yeah. wanted to more come in winging it, which is what it's. No, it's, no, no, yeah. I, I get you, but it was. Mm. <clears throat> It's like, you know, you go knocking on the door of these bodhisattvas or third order, whatever you want to call them, masters of the temple, all these various names, white brotherhood. And it's kind of like, yeah, looking back now, it's kind of like, well, those questions aren't really interesting for them lads, because they're all about just awakening mm. all sentient, sentient beings, you know? Or, so, you know, actually running the planet, all that stuff. Yeah. Mm. And so, yeah, fair enough. I can understand why though most of those questions were brushed aside, but then there was there was decent enough answers to them as well. But, but I mean, they did uh, answer the Indrid Cold stuff, and it says yeah, like, you know, it, yeah, they like, did too, like yeah. But then, but then, like, but but it's kind of like right. Well, I have these questions about the Third Order, who seem to be involved with the Indrid Cold and Hellier stuff. So like, well, who who the fuck better to ask? But then yeah. some things they brushed aside, and then other things they didn't, and it's kind of like. That's I'm going into it. That's something I wasn't mindful of. Is that these things are wanting humanity or sentient beings to wake up, rather than you know, um, should I wear the red dress or with the white patterns or the you know? Don't, don't think yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? What would be more likely? What we should have done is call up Indrid Cold or Terry Orrist mm. if he is alive or dead. There's purports that he is a uh, he is dead. Um, I don't know. It could be totally made up for all we know. But uh, yeah, um, so that that's one of the reasons why I think I just I didn't connect with it. But I was like, um, <laughs> we were talking to Duncan and Paul on a Sunday, right? On a Sunday, and uh, Duncan was kind of saying that <laughs> he was surprised, you know, that we didn't. Given that you know, you call up the people, these people, and then just tell you stuff, and you go, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Go, oh right, yeah, that's interesting. That that's the reaction you're having. To that. Go, uh, it's just, just, just the yeah. most important people on the planet. And, and I'd love uh, to meet Leo Messi. I'd love to do anything to meet Leo Messi. Do anything. I'd love to talk to him for five minutes and then, oh hello, Leo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. It's your, it's yourself. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of Terry Orrist? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so he it, Duncan suggests going like rather than thinking it wasn't about you, think that every single. This is paraphrasing, Duncan, or at least that, what what I, I I decided he said to me uh, <laughs> is that uh, decide that every thing is a message for you, including the bits that you don't think are about you, yeah. and so that uh, kind of opened a bit more uh, for me. And I did an interesting thing uh, when I did the transcript, which took forever, man. Four people's voices. Uh, it's like you have to. <laughs> the script does a great job, but it's, it's still, yeah. <laughs> it's, which strangely often taught Marco was you and you were Marco, and like, right, I, wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't put that 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 uh, that together at all. But Bald then I took facial hair, you know, it's profiling. That's what it's that is. Profiling, <laughs> that totally profiles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, because the thing, the thing that we always find um, with doing this is that we tend to talk over answers, or we, you know, we we come in too quick asking the next question, and sometimes it feels like. The question you're asked and the answer you get is actually the answer to the previous question, mm -hmm. or even something that you haven't asked yet, or something. So I thought if we took out all of the our stuff and just left what was, um, you know, said, um, would that be interesting? 
and it is like I mean yeah. it's taking you taking out the context altogether, but it kind of something seemed to join together in a, a different way. and I know and it's quite arbitrary the way I did it and it's kind of my kind of take on it um, and if you were putting it together you'd probably paragraph it differently or you know you'd add sentences together but it's, it's, you can only you know it's, it's, as we've talked before about and we will talk as well later about uh, divination is that if you're seeing this as the stone dropped in the water then you are making the pattern making the meaning making after it so it has to be something that resonates with you yeah. and all that kind of stuff but I found it really interesting when it kind of looks like a you know like a channel text or something like that you know that you have to look into and things that joined up seemed that when they were talking to us felt like they were saying something else but then when you put like four sentences together it has a very different quality to it mm-hmm. and almost a completely different personality but uh, it's again it's taking out context uh, um, which could be the important bit of it but I, I thought it would be interesting to just to see what what would come out of it um, like the, 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 I was telling my wife about that the one that you know your wife should know or your wife will know or, whatever, or would know about that or whatever <laughs> and if you put it in context whatever it's like the thing he says previous to it is running out of time and you kind of go well open my, you know so I'll have to talk to her does she feel she's running out of time or uh couple other ones the one about um, where it seems kind of disparate where it's talking about you know there's a problem because uh, we're in the middle of talking about the leg of lamb and lamb and stuff like that and then oh, so there's another problem um, you need to ground yourself at home that's life insurance or something like that and you go well that's interesting put together because that seems to make a lot more sense than what was doing within the actual uh, talk itself mm-hmm so I'm going to go back and do that with the other stuff as well, is to transcribe it all out and then take out <laughs> all our blabbering and see what they actually say. Or as I was pointing out uh, in the chat last night, saying that maybe doing an entire session where you ask a question and then shut up for 20 minutes yeah. and then see what happens. But you miss, I suppose you, you kind of miss out in the validation then as well, because you know when you're in it and you ask a question and you get the immediate response and it's right and it's correct. Yeah, and yeah, kind of feel yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah. to someone. If you're just listening to <clears throat> the, the bees as they fall, <laughs> you can go, it could be anything. But it'd be, yeah. it'd be interesting to... Um, so yeah, so yeah, I assume you then kind of connected a bit better with it too than come back. Yeah, just going back, like I, I, I didn't write any notes for the first one. But the second one, I did, yeah, there's a few things are written down here. Like the thing with nothing and Nemo, that's... I don't think I would have got that. So no, I certainly wouldn't have got thankfully that. Thankfully, Marco was there for that. Mm. So, like, Nemo is supposed to be the head honcho mm. of this thing. There was a bit of a... <coughs> I asked about Terry Reese's email, and the answer was 500 is cool. It's kind of orange. 19, it's the number three, then came after that. I was like, wow, that's... Uh, I don't know how we're going to decipher that. Mm. But there's obviously something there, like, you know. Come here to ask, is cipher spelt with an I or a Y? Because my spell check couldn't decide. I. I. Yeah. Every time I put an I, it tried to change it to a Y, and as soon as I change it to a Y, it would put it back to it. Want to put it back to an I. Right. I kind of got the impression of it as well that when it was happening, I thought, okay, this is someone who we've, we've been looking for. But listen back there, not not, not today, but yesterday, to the second session, it kind of felt like maybe there's a bit, bit of black black lodge in here as well, like cause mm. it says. I think Marco asked, can you tell us about the Black Lodge? He said, it's head, heading to you now, join us. Mm. Even though the first entity had said that mm, this is our chance at membership of the White Brotherhood. Well, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So it's like, but then during the second session, Jason was saying that there seemed to be two uh, voices. So, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of torn between if it was the white or if it was the, or if the white and the black were there you know mm. which I think would, 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 would make a bit more sense to me in the way that one of them was really given out to Marco they called Marco mm. a problem and you know, fuck off yeah which I don't know like I mean like uh, obviously I'm not Marco can't really speak for him but it's like if, if it's the black brotherhood says he's a problem that's a good thing yeah <laughs> sure if yeah. it's the white brotherhood says you're a problem Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that would make me uneasy if mm. if if I was told that by a, I can call him body can't I? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if a body was to say to me, "Yes, but you're a problem." Ah, uh, right. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I suppose again, it, it, it kind of 
you kind of define problem in a couple of ways in that, you know, you have someone who is a problem, but who is an agent for change, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. it, or you have someone who's a problem in what their behaviour and what they're doing is an actual problem and some, something you don't want to be uh, around. Of course. Um, I would assume Mark would assume it's the agent to change one, you know, rather than the the <laughs> than they were calling him an asshole. But um, that's that's totally from Marco deciding for for yeah, his well, thing. I don't know. But like, I mean, mm -hmm. well, Marco doesn't tell him I, I I like he rattles cages and he upsets mm -hmm. the apple cart. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, he gives out to people too much a bit on Twitter. Sorry, Marco, <laughs> but like, but look, he's told us before like he has yeah. a perso an online persona which isn't the same as his persona because he's a he's a pussy cat. Marco's mm -hmm. a lovely man. Like, mm -hmm. he's really nice. He's a sweet guy. You know, so um, yeah, yeah it's interesting. But I think I think had I, well, I can only speak for myself. Had I been told, I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't have any reaction. Marco had. I, I would have well, sat down. The serious thing about <laughs> crying in a corner, going, going, oh, oh, sh oh shit! Oh shit! You know, it's like it's like you, you go into the teacher's room and they'll tell you <laughs> you're a problem. You go, oh crap! <laughs> I'm a problem here, or whatever. Um, but yeah, that was very interesting, and I think part of that as well is. That was part of my disconnect. I was going, well, this seems to be not about me in a sense. But there was more of a stare than we've done previous. Like even, it was me, you and Marco. So there was three people asking questions. Say, Jason being the the uh, the same figure in a lot of this stuff. But then it was what, 20, 25 people, whatever it was. I can't remember. Um, mm. Directing stuff as well. So Watching live. And then should have said it's had a good few hundred views on, on yeah. YouTube as well. And whatever the podcast figures are too. So it's... So there's that quite kinda, a hit like yeah so it's like is that boosting the energy or diluting the energy because it does talk about leak uh, in it you know yeah 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 because yeah. there's there's that, that did, I think during the first one when he says that this is your chance at membership and I'm like I'm thinking like is he talking to the four of us or is he talking to everyone mm. what's going on here like well that's it you know oh, and but like but to think that it's just the four of us that's that's surely that's your ego fucking which is oh I could be a bodhisattva uh. mm. do you know whereas it's no the job of the bodhisattvas is to help everyone achieve enlightenment so sh surely it's the second one but then again we were the one directly yeah. involved or the ones directly involved in it so I don't think I'll ever know the answer to that <laughs> no and oh. also like why would it be the only chance you know what I mean like what, what what's so special about this period of time or this period of, of us mm. if it's just the f four of us you know it does say we're all insiders so it's the, there is a, an a mention of that of, of a kind of but it kind of dismisses it, but whatever what which seems a bit more like you're not like if it's direct if it's directed at us um that we're not taking it seriously you know mm. rather than he's not taking it at least he's oh, not Jesus, taking it seriously, but it's hard to, we would you know. take it seriously if someone well, but, I, well, but okay, if he's, I, but he's saying I, I, we're not, though. That's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, okay, look, I can't, I can't speak for you, but I've, I've often thought about that. It's like, if you're given the chance to be a bodhisattva, would you take it? I'm like, fucking well, of course I'd take it. To, mm. to be able to help people. Yeah, that, that's what I love doing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, but again, it's one of the decisions that you can't know what you'll have until, you know, because you do, at, from this point of view, we don't know what actually is involved in that. Uh, you know, you're... Uh, you're... Well, it seems to be just writing letters to people, isn't it? <laughs> 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 From a the theosophical point yeah. of view, I can do that. Sit at home, write letters. Yeah, you'll be yeah. fine. Just yeah. you know, be at one, love each yeah. other, get a cat. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Every, <laughs> every hundred years, you have a board meeting. Yeah, seems fine. <laughs> Pop up every now and again to write a book for someone's mind. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> but, uh, Could do it easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, my, my point being that for, if it's if the wound only talking about us, then it seems or that doesn't make a lot of sense. Why would it be only one chance? But if, say, if it's talking more globally, and hu it's humanity's one chance mm. in that you can fuck all this up and it all goes yeah. away. Um, which which I don't think makes all that much sense either because if, like, hmm, uh, if it's from a Bodhisattva tradition point of view, you don't get one chance to become one. You have all of your incarnations mm. to become one. So that also doesn't make sense. Unless... Uh, Unless there is no reincarnation, and you do only get one shot. We're, we're all George Harrison here, you know. <laughs> yeah, or or as humanity, there is a chance that this whole thing fails, that it's not oh, guaranteed, yeah, exactly, that yeah. it's it's a, a you're necessarily always going to get the positive outcome in this situation, you know, in the, this form of humanity or this current evolution or whatever. But that mm. would still mean even if the humanity fails, the spirit or the soul or whatever behind it doesn't disappear. Again, coming from a theosophical point of view, which I mean, there's a lot of this coming in. 
when you're talking about the secret chiefs and this kind of stuff, a lot of the yeah, information yeah, we have is yeah. coming from that kind of area. Anyway, like surely there's there's elephants that are away. I don't think there's any ostriches. Though. They're 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 <laughs> just dumb. I mean, there's definitely cats may, that may, are away. Do you remember? Do you remember when, when ostrich farming was popular in Ireland? Do you remember that? I don't know. No. Do you know? Well, it was popular mm-hmm. down down. Well, no, I wouldn't say popular, but it was um, a thing that some friends of my dad got into, and we'd go down and. <laughs> they're the dumbest bastards like just, these big fucking scary things come up to you and Rah! and then just like the owner would come up behind with a brown paper bag put it over his head and then they're just limp they just right, stop right, right. and then you can just kind of push them around a bit and I'll poke them and they don't do that because they're like they can't see oh the tanky don't exist yeah they, they can't be enlightened there's just no way there's, there's no <laughs> bodhisattva ostriches I'll up tell there. you there's definitely no uh, <laughs> bodhisattva cats they'd be going nope helping no one out of here <laughs> 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 Dog, the dog would be going, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have everyone. What do I? Yeah, of course, yeah, no bother. <laughs> there is a, a kind of that one as well. Just talking about dogs, that that line, you're all or you're the best boy or whatever. That's that sounds, you know, that's like something you say to a dog, right? Like yeah, a pet yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. We're just pets, aren't we? Yeah. We make great pets. Who sings yeah. that? The eels, isn't it? No, nope, porno for pyros. Oh, sorry. Mm. It sounds similar. Um, yeah, I asked one regarding the new cipher as well because it's just it was the buzz I was on because apparently in the secret cipher for you for it's this collection of work that shows that the Book of the Law has a cipher in it that Crowley couldn't crack even though he knew it was there. And so other people who have studied it um, found it. Uh, I wouldn't think that Greenfield is, is this, credit um, for it. But are people content with that? Like, would tel- Telemites say, yeah, that is cracked? Like, is everyone kind of in agreement that it's... I don't know. Don't know I, I have to assume it isn't. I doubt it. Tell him it. I doubt <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. hell. <laughs> They'd fall out over the shade of white. <laughs> fucking hell. Like. Oh, it's off white. It's, ah, ah, ah. Oh my God, stop. Oh, they really love drama, tell him it's not. They love fighting. Anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, so I wanted to ask about that because he says in the book that because it's it's known now, then it's changing and, and there could be a new one. So we asked about that and the answer we got was I have an offer for it. And then he said, put your hands in the air, yeah, which you all did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you had a great take on this, actually. And move beyond. Yeah. Uh, mm. With the Crowley thing. Yeah, because I went looking at, right, this is a pose. This is yeah. something that he's getting us to do. And there is, from the... Um, uh, the who's my... There is a, uh, one of the poses from, like, the... Uh, what do you call it? Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. Mm. Um, where they're the like grades. that. And it's the a grades, pose. Yeah. Mm. yeah, for the grades. And it's a pose for air. So... And, and and to do with the grades as well. So um, Marco filled me in on it, saying that it's the pose for the. I'm still doing it. <laughs> the pose for pose for the babes of the abyss. Yeah. So, so it's the, the final thing you do before you cross the abyss. So it would be yeah. do the pose and move beyond. Yeah. It seems like a description. That's what said. Yeah. Put yeah. your hands in the air and move behind beyond. So it's like, ah, okay. Oh, look, I know with these things you can get accused of stretching or reaching for stuff and putting two and two together and getting five but it's I don't know like if, if the cap fits kind of wear it as well, well I, I, oh. I've made a firm decision that I'm gonna, if if you believe it then that's true for you and mm. um, once you're, you know within you know beyond there is a chance you're always deluding yourself about the entirety of, of all this but that's what's resonant with you or whatever then that's but I, I think the issue would be Say in my reading of this, and I, I go, well, this is what it's saying to me. A very a prime example of going. I definitely think it's the swan, but you could you take you could take it's the one, and I think for you it is the one, and for me it is the swan. Mm-hmm. But it would be me demanding that you think it's the swan yeah, 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 would be yeah, the problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, so but I think with all these things, it's like it's like with, with divination anyway. It's like these things that uh, you find something that takes your focus, and you can just look into it, and it might open other doors. But it might be a dead end, and that's fine too because yeah. you get to learn something anyway. You know what I mean? Oh, it's a dead end, but you know I learned something new about something, and now I go searching again, maybe because I've missed something or I've not interpreted properly. Yeah, and if if you have the cyclical rising cyclical thing that I that I feel is that it might be a dead end now, but inform something the next time round. Sure, sure, yeah, know, of course, so. yeah, it's possible. Yeah, it's that just yeah. that's all. That's as far as you can go now with this. Doesn't mean it's the. It's the end piece of it. Oh, you found a cool one with the cat. I like that. Yeah, that was cool. It's um, So it says Sierra, it's a bit like a cat or something, uh, play on. And it does an interesting thing with that as well, because it says play on and then are words better? And you kind of go, is this a play on words? You know, yeah. it, so and, it's, and it, 
it's just no go back to the first in in the the, the, the no context version of it. So Sierra means uh, Spanish for mountain range, which is not the first time Spanish was in it because he says uh, estoy bien as well uh, earlier in it. So there is a there, maybe there was a, a cheeky Spaniard coming in every now and again just to, <coughs> doing random stuff. But so uh, a mountain range that looks like a cat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was cool. And there is one in Ukraine uh, that looks mm. it's like a it looks sleeping like cat. A, it looks mm. like and it does. It looks like a sleeping mm. cat. It's, he's on his side. His head is down. It, that's definitely a sleeping cat. You know? yeah. Which is cool. Uh, it, that was to do with, yeah, the question on that was, does hell your matter anymore? And it's a yeah. nine in one, it's better than a lamp. As they conjure, a storm comes. So I'm, I'd be scared if I was the hellier lads. Because <laughs> yeah. they did conjure. Yeah. Storm's coming. <laughs> the other thing is, I mean, th- th- there's a number of things that um, kind of relate to ma- Magia stuff in that. The lamp, the storm, you know, mm-hmm. that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, so yeah, you could you sure, could look yeah. in, a, in that kind of a, a thing. um but again, you know, like that's putting stuff on it. But uh, like, and when the like the lamp definitely isn't doesn't originate with, or the storm doesn't originate with Magia as well. So it's like, could you be, you know, could be pointing at the thing before, you know, when you're just kind of getting caught up in your own stuff, going, well, mm-hmm. yeah, that's... of course, yeah. But just come back to the hand signal stuff. Though, those two, like the first one was where we were told to put our hands back. Yeah, well, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So in two two different sessions, there was a there was a movement thing as well. So hands back. I don't think there is a a grade though with the hands back, is there? Although no, Marco did feel he got touched at that at that point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Inappropriately yeah. touched by I'd an a, angel. <laughs> I'd ask more. I'd ask stuff then more about the language stuff because there's this language that they talk about in the secret cipher, the man tongues. So that's that's if anyone's wondering where that came from. That's one of these supposedly alien or Mm. Uh, ultra terrestrial kind of languages that someone found, uh, which I think is nonsense to be honest, because it's just this kind of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like a devolved English, is what uh, it is. Yes, right, yeah, you know, yeah. so it's it's kind of this idea that uh, uh, all other languages came from this, but it's but it's, the, it's but the, but it has this root of English, whereas that's impossible because we know the roots of English, you know. Mm. But anyway. This guy discovered a, a language when he was trancing out, which is a pretty fucking cool thing to do anyway. Mm. And then yeah, there was about the Enochian language. I thought that was an interesting one because it said, isn't it all over the rainbow, the rainbow a thousand times just living it? So I kind of got the impression for that. Like, okay, the Enochian language has had its time. It's gone. Mm. It's over the rainbow. Don't worry about it, you know? Yeah, the, um, I think there is a thing as well. It says about sing, doesn't it? Like sing it as well. And I was asking That's the man to... tongue, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the, then it says a hundred. Doesn't it? A hundred is more double, means in, double in the, in the arts. arts. Now, hundred, if you don't use What's that any, mean to you? I didn't get that. Well, a hundred, if you put it into normal geometry, is the magician, and it also is fire. And so it would be. For me, I mean, this is my reading. This is because it, 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 it seemed to speak to me is that magic done within the art it gets double points. It's more, double powerful. That's what I. Could, you could read. What do you mean? You know, so move the mic a bit closer. To you, oh, sorry. You? So, um, um, so you mean I do doing magic for the purpose so of say, energy? So, well, whatever, oh. whatever. Yeah, but just whatever. So if it's the magician and it's the fire, so fire would be representative of, of, of say power, but it would also be representative of soul and of you know well of theory, mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff as well. So um, it comes up twice, and the second time it says work double in the arts, and for me that would mean that 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 it's. Um, it's twice as effective when done from a, an art point of view. But art, then you could say, is it the art of magic? Is it the art of songwriting? Yeah, yeah, but the yeah, fact yeah, that yeah. it says, don't forget to sing, would seem that there was some sort of um, element of it as well. Because if you put it 100 into NAEQ, it's, it, the second one that comes up is love chant, which is interesting. You know, if so it, like, is that a call then to chant? Is chanting what double is doing mantras or whatever? There's a whole kind of yeah. whole thing around it that you could look at. But, um, for me, if, as I, if I was looking at this as it's a personal message to me, I would say that um, my magic is, is, is doubly powerful with, embedded in, 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 in an art or a music or okay. something like that. But again, you know, well, it, it could sense, mean something man. different, different for, you know, to you. Because if you look at, if you put in a hundred into the, the different things, you know, magician and fire might jump out to you. There's like, I mean, there's 50 yeah, things yeah. that it could yeah. be that are representative um but again, you had to take it slightly out of context uh, uh, to get the meaning I'm taking of it, because to ask, we asked, what is what's the the 
you know, the, this language. And the rainbow thing as well, someone pointed out in Marco's server as well, has come up before in the black thing. Then when we're talking to Duncan about, you know, the octahedron thing, yeah, which, which yeah, is the yeah, reflection yeah, yeah, as whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you yeah. could look into that too, you know, that if it's, and it's kind of going, it's the rainbow, the rainbow a thousand times, and it says, just live it. You know, you're, it's the, again, this kind of almost exasperated thing of like, you know this, this is it, it's the rate, this whatever it is, just live it. And it's like, yeah, mm. but, you're, but you're not. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Or something. Yeah, so I think that my understanding of it, it isn't it all over the rainbow, over the rainbow? I, I don't know, I still get the impression that it's, if something's over the rainbow, it's far away and it's kind of not. But it's also, it's, it's dreamland. It's, you know what it's I mean? the good it's place. It's the grass is always green. That's you know, true. Somewhere so yeah. over the rainbow. Yeah. Don't forget to sing <laughs> the rainbow song. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah. But is it like pie in the sky positive or skin? Like, is it, yeah. there is the place that we can go? I don't know. I mean, he, he, or maybe it's the language that brings us to the mm. place beyond, you know, in good times and there's leprechauns with pots of gold. Pots of gold, yeah. Double rainbows, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, or it would be like if it is the land of plenty <clears throat> and all that kind of, just live it, just, you know, see it, that's what it is and yeah, yeah, come yeah. from that point of view. Yeah. But it's like there's so much you're bringing your own thing to it, you know, like, is that what I want it to be, you know, or is it, so that, is that why it's resonant with me or is it, you know, is it, is it what you were saying is it going like, you know, you need to discount that at somewhere, you know, that's something that's false, it's a false thing, you know, a rainbow is a false thing, you know, it's not a real thing, it's, it's a reflection of something else or a, yeah, yeah, a yeah, fraction yeah. of something else. But, uh, Send yourself mad to get into this, but this is what we do. This is what we sign up to do as magicians. We look at stuff and make big deals out of it from any yeah. angle <laughs> until we see what it is. But uh, I'll just have a quick scan and see if I uh, because I know there's something else that I, um, came up. Oh, for God's sake, I had it opened and now it's gone. Oh, I'll leave it. You have it open there anyway. Have you the, the transcript? Are we missing anything yet? Uh, no, when I mean, there was the, the message from the Gen Pop was hilarious. Don't be a Republican. Marco mm. asked what about us in the UK. You're fucked. <laughs> it's yeah, all an yeah. illusion. Don't worry. Then the radio dies and Jason comes back. But that's a uh, bit, little bit about Ukraine, which is kind of what you'd ex expect. I want you to all love each other and pick up after, after. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, love each other. But when there's a mess, fucking clean up. Yeah. And then someone on, on uh, or Marco got a, an email from someone who, because the question is, um, Although we were asked about Ukraine, we did ask, is there a message for anyone else, even people listening later on? And it really reflected uh, a very, uh, I suppose, intense moment for them around their dad, their dad dying, right? And, I, mm, I remember yeah, yeah, yeah. and how it's like even word for word stuff that happened as well. Yeah. So, you know, on many levels. It was interesting, yeah. And then mm. there was Arthur, then your discard. Um, he wrote like an essay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the... Yeah, yeah. All, 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 all the hijinks and sinks that he had happened as well, which is really interesting. So like, okay, there's us who were involved in it and we had meaning, but there's plenty of other people who will have listened to it and picked up stuff as well. So it's yeah. it's cool. Yeah, it's like, so it's not like, you know, a divination with your tarot where, you're, where there's pebbles being dropped. Like, dude, we, we fucking <laughs> yeah, big done. bastard rock yeah, yeah. Into, <laughs> into a still pool, you know, <laughs> which is pretty cool. It's rock and roll, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I think I, I've, I've more... Um, feel more of a connection to it now than I did at the time. And it is mm. interesting that I felt so apathetic and didn't care and whatever. And, you know, being that I am an egotistical narcissist, <laughs> <laughs> best time, why wouldn't I think it's about me? Particularly as the only name that's mentioned in it and it's mentioned Tommy, is yeah. my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, he I'm here to help, Tommy. Yeah, this Steffi <laughs> isn't about me. This isn't about me. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe, maybe they meant Spuds. Did they get the names wrong? No, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so strange. But uh, yeah, Duncan, good man, saying, yeah, you should look at that. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? It's good, but it's, it? it's good. You need other people to, 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 to pull you out of it a bit and then mm. put you back in it. Because sometimes you just get too involved in it and you're, you, you know, you don't, what's the thing? You don't see the, the, the wood for the trees. Yeah. And there was you a lot know? of build up to it and there was a lot of things. And it's just, I did kind of feel drained after it. More mm, than yeah, well, of course. And if there was a leak, say, then, then you know, you're going to feel drained. Um. And so maybe I did need to decompress and not look at it for a while or whatever. I mean, 
How long was the book of the law in the attic before Crowley even looked at it? You know, because mm. <laughs> this is exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> People will be puzzling about this Zoom session for yeah, years and years. I'm sure they will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you ha- if you haven't checked it out, it's, it's on the on the feed, and the transcript is on the Adventures in Wubu website. And uh, you know, go mad, see what you can find in it. But uh, remember that all of it's probably re- as much of a reflection of you than it is of truth. But that that's a good thing. That's that's not the you know UPG is good as long as you don't force it on anyone else. Um, that it. That, oh, and I'll be yeah, saying that. Lewis and that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Irish lessons. Uh, today we're going to learn how to say what's your name, and my name is. <laughs> so, uh-huh. so what's your name is Cod is Adam Ditch. We came across Ditch before in uh, saying hello, which is Gia Ditch, which is God be with you. And um, so Cod, uh, it's an A C A D, but it's pronounced like the fish. <laughs> Cod, I- Cod, what is Annam is your name? Ditch being your. So Cod is Annam Ditch. Cod is Annam Ditch. Spud. <laughs> Spud is Annam Dom. And that's yeah. so, yeah. We we speak a bit like Yoda where we we, uh, we put things backwards. Yeah, so it's like if, 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 if you did any French, or Spanish or Italian in school, we have these, um, like we don't say I am, it's mm. it's I I have, or else like it's on me. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. like, yeah, an example is so in English you say, I am hungry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But in Irish you say, Ta ochres orum. So it means, I have hunger on me. Yeah. yeah? Hunger, but, hunger so is upon me. Yeah. It's because there's a lot of Latin in, in the Irish language. Mm. So there's an awful lot. So you would so say your name, your name first, uh, Tomas. Um, I, I, my name. No. Tomas, name, mine. <laughs> Tomas is Anam Dum. Um, Tour dumb, give me, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 And so, uh, Podrick, I assume, is that, is that your name, actually? Podrick, Podrick. Yeah. Some people say Podrick. Podrick or Podrick, Pod- depends what part of the country you're in. Podrick is Adam Ditch, is your name, yeah. I would say. Yeah, so, or you can also, I suppose, say, and this is probably not correct, but you would say, is Misha Thomas, but that, it seems wrong because that's in the wrong order. It, your name should come first if the night, but yeah, I have heard people say it. Uh, yeah, so, Codis, Codis Adam Ditch, what is your name? Jimmy is Annam Dumb. It's Annam Dumb. Simple. Yeah. Um, we, uh, I've just got, hold on, Irish facts. I didn't, I don't have the page open. Do you have a, a, any Irish facts other than no, used to be ostrich farmers? And... <laughs> Let me see. Ostrich omelets are lovely, but it's not really an Irish fact, is it? See, it's getting I had a bunch of saved on my phone. Oh, well, this, gosh. yeah. The oldest bar in the world is in Ireland. It's a true story. Have you ever been to it? Sean's Bar, no? Well, I've been to the one in Dublin that claims to be the oldest bar. <laughs> that, that is that the one that's also had uh, all the Crowley stuff at one stage. Um, the one down on 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 the on the on the Liffey as you're driving uh, away from town on the left hand side. I know. Um, I know. Um, up, up, it's the bridge after the four courts on the left hand right. side. So uh, the oldest pub, uh, Sean's Bar, it's in Galway, isn't it? And right on the uh, anyway. Um, the oldest pub in Ireland, 900 AD. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? Yeah. On the piss for a millennium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Athlone, Lone, Westmead. There you go. That's. I'm thinking of the. the I must be thinking of the, the pub that's the, you know, the closest pub to America. Athlone, the place where nightmares go to die. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's your, your Irish fact of the week is that we, surprisingly, everyone should be surprised by the fact <laughs> that Ireland has the oldest pub in the world. 900 AD. Yeah. We brought it, obviously the, the Christians had started coming and go, I need a drink, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, What's the one in Dublin? Dublin's oldest pub. Oh, let me find it here. Uh, Brazen Head. The Brazen Head. Yeah. That's it. It's, 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 a, a good, it's a good pub. It claims to be from 899 AD. <laughs> uh, yeah, the brazen head. I know, no, no, it is. What did you say? It's a nine something, yeah? 980. I know, this is 1198. But it's the Jesus is impressive. Yeah, like, the same building's yeah. been a pub since then. It's good. We used to, I used to live really close to that one. We used to go in and um, they had trad sessions, most traditional music sessions, most. Uh, uh, most days, so they did, and they'd have they'd have an afternoon session and a night session as well, you know. Right. And uh, yeah, it was a good place. Yeah, I'm not sure. Always, I've been always, in it. it was a great, great place for meeting people, as in, right. you know, girls, cause, um, <laughs> and and foreign foreign ones too, because it was on lots of these um, 
travel guides. So you get lots of Americans and Europeans going in there and you know, having pints of Guinness and ah, tu- bo- tourist bo- tourist stew. What was Guinness yeah, like? Yeah, yeah. What, what, what what rate? Would you yeah, Guinness? it's fine. Yeah, yeah, fine, <laughs> fine Guinness. Good, yeah. 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 Right, so do you want to talk about divination? Let's do divination. So we're going through the the pillars of uh, magic. Uh, or the fundamentals of chaos magic. So far, we've done offerings, we've done sigils. So we're going to do divination. Um, possibly, I would assume the one of the oldest forms of magic going. Okay, I assume very soon people wanted to know what the future was going to hold. <laughs> you know, like coming from forecasting and crops, yields, and all that. Although they do say, isn't it, that before farming, we had uh, psychedelics and stuff like that. That was one of the first things, beer and stuff that we we wanted to get out of our heads. So perhaps TRG. TRG is obviously the oldest one. Um, one of the, I suppose, the the most well known uh, outside of you know magic circles would be divination. Like everyone knows about you know tarot cards and tea leaves, and you know everyone's granny or auntie was able to do some f- sort of form of it. Um, maybe that's just Ireland, is it? I don't know. Maybe that doesn't translate. Oh. Better. Yeah. Um, so the, the, obviously the the one I, I like I suppose the best is the is the card cartomancy. See me, it's not that um, you know people t- tried to put the tarot back to to Egypt and stuff like that, but there's not really any good history around that or any real proof about it. It seems to be a relatively new thing that that came out of a game, you know, like a card game, and then people started just using it for uh, <laughs> trying to predict the future. Although that stuff, the um, that book, the game of Saturn, what's that deck? And what seems to be one of the first ones, and it definitely wasn't used as a as a game. It was just strictly for divination. Right. Um, but of course, you have things like the I Ching, where people were throwing, you know, like coins or bones or sticks. Uh, that you know that it's probably one of the older ones, or you know, like the the where you. Yeah, I, I, I read it was turtle shells. Right. Okay. And they would look at the shape inside the turtle shell after they obviously scraped out the turtle and ate yeah. it. Yeah. You know, and yeah, they would look at the lines. I, I, I don't know if that's true or not at all, but like it sounds pretty fucking kick ass, you know. Yeah, well, you do have the the ones where they would kill animals and spill out their guts and see what way they did the guts. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, not, not always the the nicest form of magic, I suppose, is this divination. Um, and because you have runes as well. Oh, no. <laughs> You're the yeah. cow in the field, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 they've just taken your best mate Daisy there, and they've slit her her neck. And it's a bad forecast. And they're like, oh, it's going <laughs> to rain for six more months. And every yeah. other cow in the field is like, oh, for fuck's sake, do I'm next? Oh, God damn it. Like, <laughs> bad, enough, bad enough we have to give up one of you every fucking equinox. And now, ah, uh, yeah. we're in for it now, aren't we? Didn't even damn have a it. good forecast, yeah. Stupid humans. It's We're the ones who gave you life. We were the sacrifice <laughs> first. And then you fucking do this shit to us. Fuck, Maybe man. That's what all the cattle mutilations uh, on skin <laughs> the ranch are. It's you fools just coming down trying to do divination. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's see what's going on here. What, what was the weather? Linda Hamilton like? Cole has uh, entered the chat. <laughs> Hello, Linda. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, I suppose the main thing about round divination is well, it's the difference. You have a number of different kind of ideas. Divination is like a different perspective on something, seeing things from a different angle. Where some people do think it's fortune telling, you know, where you can tell something about the future. Which I'm, I'm less interested in the fortune telling because I, I think. Even if it's true, even if you could do it, the fact that you've done something obviously is going to change the future better. If you were told you were going to be run over by a, a tractor, you're going to avoid tractors in general for the next while. So it becomes less and less likely that it is. Um, I don't know. Those Russian soldiers don't seem to be able to, <laughs> to avoid them. <laughs> Just sneaking up there in the woods. <laughs> 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 to try Here, before 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 you got before you came up with doing the forty servants, what what mm. was your was it always cartomancy? Was your no? I got big into the, run, the runes. Oh, yeah, um, I really like that. Um, of course, so we've no idea if the runes were used for divination whatsoever. We don't know what they were used for. <gasps> Blasphemy! How dare you? Or magic, or even anything it could have been <laughs> graffiti for all we know. Um, well, I mean, people people do claim that they do know, but I mean, I, I think. If you ask, let's say official sources, well, mm. you know, we're unsure. But it's, well, good, mean, it's a good estimate that if they had a language, yeah. they used it for the, for these type of things. Look, well, it's, it's the same as the Irish stuff. The, like, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just yeah. going to say this. Like, it's the, the, with the runes. It was definitely a system for something, right? Yes. Yeah. Not really, not sure. The Ohm people 
and there's different schools in it as well because there's four or five different types of runes or not runes ohm mm. within ohm you know and there was like a poet's ohm there was a, a singer's or a hunter's one as well or something like that but most of the ohm stone not most the ohm stones that you'll see dotted around Ireland they're all just property lines they're like this is my land you know yeah, John yeah. you know Spud Murphy's field That that's yeah. it like do you know trespassers will be prosecuted yeah. but there are other stuff like I say like you know this protection room the the I, I Icelandic yeah there. yeah um, there are there are there's been there's been a couple of cases of has been found in old Irish holy books of this kind of bind rune that's a, called a bind rune yeah yeah, yeah 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 so it's a, like a bind ohm they look, oh, they right. look pretty cool yeah. like so it's right. a circle and then the lines come off it and then they they, they put the, the marks on, on the lines that come off there's only two I think right yeah but it's, I mean, it's a pretty cool idea, like. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but like the runes are way sexier than Ohm, because Ohm is just lines. Oh. Yeah, I just, I, I like. I mean, statically, I'm not going. And I took a friend of mine has a like a tattoo of it. I know a number of people have tattoos of uh, mm. Ohms. It's just going like, yeah, it's cool, but imagine it was a proper kick-ass demonic sigil. That'd be much cooler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also that we we kind of with Ohm and stuff, we use it to spell in English, which is, I think, I, I like maybe it's the correct way of doing it, but like... Yeah, and as well, and then anyone who does it in Irish, it's the wrong Irish. You have to go to the... You have to find an old Irish dictionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, They don't exist, like, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So. But then again, it's like with the tarot, it has been repurposed into something and that's fine. Whatever works for you, kind of yeah. thing, you know. Yeah, and I mean, same thing, like runes are, a, you know, an effective way of doing divination. Why not? Even if they weren't classically used as that, they seem to work now. So yeah. I mean, they're working, um, you know, you could use anything, though, for divination. You know, like coin cost, coin costing? Coin cost. Coin cost. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's interesting because I have a video about uh, divination on the, the 40 Servants uh, course, or whatever, and someone during the week um, left comments saying... Uh, Time cost. No, time cost, yeah. So obviously it's something I'd say. It's one of those, uh, yet another thing I <laughs> cannot pronounce. It's coin toss. Um, I think the very first one I ever got into was uh, pendulums because my auntie was did a pendulum and she would like put a, her wedding ring or someone's wedding ring on a string or a, a chain and, you know, yes, no, maybe. What would she have, two answers or four answers? I think the way she would do it was... Up and down, left and right, say, was yes or no. I can't remember which one. And then right. so anti-clockwise, don't know, clockwise, maybe, or something. She had uh -huh. the four. But uh, it's she She would have said, well, you train it whatever way you want. You know, if you want clockwise to be yes, sit there for a while and say yes and get try and move it clockwise, whatever. That was her kind of approach to it. But uh, she was quite good at it, from what I remember. I remember we were all around in my um, my nana's, and because she she was she lived in London, and she came back uh, every you know year or something like that. So it was a big event. Everyone come around and uh, tell my fortune, you know, <laughs> you know and see what the crack was. But uh, at the time, my my cousin was studying, uh, maybe doing her leaving cert to try and get into college, or whatever. And the question was asked, "Will she get enough points in her leaving cert to get into the thing?" the course no. she wanted and uh, <laughs> the answer came out no and uh, she didn't get enough points and ended up doing something completely different so I see that's, that's that's what I wouldn't like that's what I don't like I, I, I've never no I'm not saying I've never done fortune stuff when I got into the tarot first I would have done it but now I don't because it's just I prefer not to know I prefer yeah. not to have the bad answer well that's the, the thing and I know I've spoken about it before so I won't, I won't go too far into it but when I went to the, the, the psychic or whatever and she did the she used playing cards, you know, just the normal, which a lot of people do. And she was, she told me stuff and it was like going, yeah, well, I don't want that. And it really annoyed me, you know, and it's kind of like, well, no, that's not what I want, you know, or it was a bit, it kind of felt that it had predicted that I was going to fail doing what I want and I was going to end up doing something else, whatever I've talked about before. And that kind of was an eye opener because that really did depress me for like not years or anything, but like a number of days. And then it would go, you know, even over the months, it come back into your, your mind, you, you kind of go, why am I bothering doing this? Because I know already that it doesn't work out. Yeah. Going, oh, hold on, stop that, you know, for, mm. for a start. So in a sense, it was a great lesson in that, in that kind of predictive or self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, and I found that with the pendulum stuff as well, that I, I was kind of, because when I was doing it as a teenager and I was trying to you know, predict my life, what would happen. And if I didn't get the answer I want, I found it very disheartening and very, uh, have you disappeared? Oh. Anyway, I was just said the the nature of uh, being wary with divination that you have to um, you know not get into a spiral of uh, 
if something gets predicted that you think that it's the only solution or the only thing that's going to happen or yeah. whatever. And I remember when I was a kid doing it with pendulums, a teenager or whatever, and it was like, it, fe- it became very disheartening if I didn't get the answer. You know, oh, will I be, you know, a rock star? No. And I go, oh, thank fuck I wasn't. <laughs> um, or whatever it is. But, uh, and that's what the main kind of thing when it, when you're approaching divination as fortune telling, I think you can get into a lot of trouble. Particularly if you're telling other people stuff. I don't, I, 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 yeah. I think it's fair. Even if it's true, you know, which it isn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? It can't, it can't be. Well, I suppose uh, <laughs> you have to come down to the kind of notion of, then of, what is happening with a divination? You know, where is the answer coming from? What it is, um, and I'm, I'm more and more convinced that it's the the left brain talking to the right brain, and um, that why is mostly the, the divination stuff done through symbols? You know, like the cartomancy runes. It's all kind of symbolic, kind of a thing. Um, even the I Ching, it's all symbols. You know, yeah, all yeah, of these yeah. things. That you know, the, the poor turtle shells again. It's you know, um, and so I think it, it's. A way of while what we were talking about with sigils is one way of getting is crossing the threshold from you know your your conscious to your subconscious by symbolizing it and then showing it. Hello, can you look at this symbol? Yeah. Whereas um, divination can be in some way it doing the reverse and it's going here's my symbol now you interpret that. You know, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So um, that's the way. I, if I'm doing readings, whatever, I always kind of approach it that it's it, almost in a way to, to start kickstart something see it from the you know here's this you know you ask question the sun comes out right what does the sun represent what is it doing how would that work within this question what well, well, if i was to see this particular problem from the vantage point of source what what would that look like you know or from the father or whatever yeah 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 yeah. i mean I, I think it can get very very helpful even if it were uh, if there was nothing more to it than that but if you add the kind of a bit of woo into it that it's a, a form of some part of you that knows something that you might know you know in the way that your subconscious can often know these type of things or can see because it sees the world from such a different uh, view of what you're you know how you consciously see it that it, it might let you in on something that when we when it when we interact with that seems very woo but it's just because if you look at the world your life from a symbolic point of view, um, might have a different kind of vantage point or a different way. And of course, it, it, you know, it could be from your HGA, it could be from your solar angel, all this kind of stuff too. It depends on who you're you're asking. Um, do you, I assume you're, you're, you're kind of taking it as something similar to that though, is it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah it might, might, might be similar to that, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't do it all that often, every now and mm. again, but it's kind of like, oh, I feel like I feel I don't want to waste it's time. You know what mm. I mean? With, with well, who's the who's, who's the it then? Are you are you saying in that? Uh, Divinity is it? Is well, that? well, yeah. Because with, with the tarot stuff, um, herself told me to get the tot day. Mm. You know, because she's mad at the in the telema. You know right. that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Argumentative. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! That's just <laughs> telling me you're wrong. <laughs> And that that one because I had I had the Raider Raider weight right whatever first and they didn't tell me it isn't like it just thought yeah. it was, God it's like done by a child it's crap <laughs> you know but the Toth one yeah, Toth one speaks to me more I have I have your man's Yodorovsky's ones too I love his idea of tarot and yeah it like, took you ages to get them one though didn't you like the, the wooden sentence yeah, yeah, or something yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and uh, I really like his his ideas on on tarot and it's the same with of it that no the tarot is is in the now you know it's it's telling you something now he is uh, we speak about i know i spoke about on, on the on the on this card but he has this really interesting way of, of doing tarot he just when he's reading for people he takes out all the minor arcana and just at the major ones and then he so, so then he'll he wants your questions so it's like oh i don't know how do i love myself or something and he pulls three cards first and then he says well this is your current situation this is how it is now mm. And then he'll, he'll he'll talk about that for like 10 or 15 minutes. And then he put out another three cards and he shows how the first card connects, how number, card number one connects with four, two with uh, five, and three with, what can it five? Seven, six. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, fascinating, absolutely yeah. fascinating the way he does it. Because I'd never seen anyone do, do, it, do it the way he does it. And it spoke to me and I went, yeah, that's that's how I want to do that's things. Because it. it's about the now, it's about fixing, there's, there's a problem. Something I want to know now. How do I fix mm. it? What is the situation? How or like because that that might show you something else as well that that you've just you've missed. 
but then there's the situation of how, how to fix it, you know, or how, how to rectify it, you know. Now, usually with Yolorowski, it involves <laughs> finding a lactating woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Painting a Fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Painting your private fluorescent pink and walking around <laughs> Paris with a, with a chain or something. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, we don't have to go that far. Um, I don't read it off. I have the, yours and, and the tarot is what I use. I have the I Ching. I just don't use it all that often. I, I, even though I like it, I think yeah. it's great. But I'm just, no, it's the, the tarot and the 40 servants is what I prefer. Do you know? Maybe it's just because I know them better. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah, I would mostly know it's just uh, the, the 40 servants. That's just the only thing I use. Mm. Occasionally I'll pull out a rune or I'll do a pendulum. Although I, last time I looked for my pendulum, I, I couldn't find it, so. Yeah. That's the end of that. It's good though, to, 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 you know, like experiment with these things and find out what you like best, you know, because it's like if you're doing tarot and you don't like them, stop. Well, that's it. That's it. Find and also else. if uh, like people, you know, tarot purists don't, you know, ha don't really like Oracle decks or tarot cards, or, you know, or also, you know, like Twin Peaks tarot, whatever, there's kind of a no, no. I think if you want to use the Twin Peaks tarot, use it, <laughs> you know, if that's what's speaking to you. Mm. Um, you know, but it's like once in the sense of once you know what you're doing, you know, like yeah, because I, I think I find with, with stuff like that, it's that like um, oh, uh, it's important to use the right tool when it's needed. I mean, you're not going, you're not going to saw a piece of timber with a screwdriver, <laughs> you know. So no. the Twin Peaks tarot might work for you now and for the next six months, mm. but then you might find the road is closed with that, and you'll progress onto an older, more traditional type as well, you know? Yeah, yeah. Or not, Maybe. you know, yeah. Or not, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, like the, the pendulum stuff. I think I, it's important, though, to, 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 to come to it kind of respectfully. And, well, this is just my own point of view, and not to be wasting time with, you know, what, what shirt should I wear to an interview <laughs> kind of thing. Because, mm. like, I don't care about that. They're more into like, um, it's the question I would say is, the question I would ask is, is would be something like, um, is there something I can ask or say in the interview that would impress? That's what mm. I would more than just, oh, what, you know, what shade of pink should I wear? Today? Yeah, yeah. But I, I suppose then the thing is, who then would you ask for that kind of stuff? You know what I mean? Like, is, that, is there some agency that would be involved in that? I don't know. I mean, because I do feel the same. Like you kind of feel you don't want to be asking. Because there is a thing that happens to people as well that they end up that they can't do anything without consulting. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you don't ever want to get into that or whatever. Like but, I, can't, um, I can't dream of ever doing a divination every day. Like it would because because if if I did one today, like I'm thinking about that for the next couple of days, kind of thing. Yeah, if yeah, I had yeah. to do another one, then that pushes that one out. Hmm. But know. I was doing the, the daily ones. I think it was like two and a half months, three months, or something. I was doing it for. It takes a lot out of you too. I know it doesn't sound like it would, like, but yeah, it's like there's a part of your brain you have to kind of, because what if I did it for myself, I can kind of just look at it and go right, and it just kind of emerges into my brain. I go right, right, but then we're trying to put that into words, <laughs> and it's like because uh, uh, you'll say something goes, well, that just sounds stupid, but uh, you know, try to make it sound like it's without making it sound, you know, I don't know that you know you have to get it where it doesn't sound stupid, but also you're still trying to get your point across what it is. Mm -hmm. And it was hard. Some some of the days it was hard as well doing that when it was like, oh, this is just shit, you know. And you you're kind of going, well, should I put a positive spin on it and go, well, no. Well, I mean, you have to be true to what's there, you know. Uh -huh. It's like yeah. if this is what it's saying, then just say it, you know. Just say what it's say. Yeah. See what you say, you know, or say what you yeah. see. Um, which is why, in some ways, like when I'm doing them for other people, and I do say for the patron ones or whatever, I do try to put some sort of positive spin on it because I know the power of the self fulfilling prophecy. If you're you know, I don't, and I don't like yes or no questions as well because that's firmly uh, getting into the fortune telling type of thing. You know, that's so. I'll always try to put, it, you know, if you get someone goes like, "What's the relationship with my mother going to be like next month?" and you get to deplete it, will you go? <laughs> well, you can you go, yeah, just going to suck. Next thing, yeah. you know, but you know, well, you know, just talk around it and you know, always come from that approach of the reality transfer and what's the advantage in this. Which is a shit translation. It's like, where's the light in this? You know, where's where's the bit that you can look at that's good? So even if it's is to deplete it, I mean, well, that's the end of a particular thing with your mother. You know, that's run its course. There's no more energy in it, and so it could be a good thing. But uh, I don't think you know that the people, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying for me, you know, like who go to like uh, shopping centres and you know read people's cards or go to fairs or or you know. 
telephone. <laughs> do people still ring up t- tarot cards on the telephone? <laughs> I'm sure they do. I'm sure it's Zoom now, though. Um, I, I couldn't deal with that. I don't right. want the responsibility of that. Imagine something comes up. And I'll, but also I wouldn't want you know to not tell them because you know, if they're paying you for something you know for a particular yeah, skill or yeah, whatever yeah, you know yeah. it's like it's true, I don't it? know I just so I just got no I don't want don't want to do that. Yeah, and there is, probably, there is, is there has been some just to learn it yourself and do it yourself. Well, not even to learn. I mean, Jesus, I turn up a card and I'm like I have no idea what that means. I have to go pull down a book and get the meaning. Mm. Of it. You know. Yeah. So, it's not right. It's okay. It's not wrong with that. Like you're, yeah, you're learning all the time. You know. Ultimately, I think you like well. You're better off uh, learning all this stuff yourself, including, you know, when people send me a message going, can you do magic for me? No. <laughs> Even if I wanted to uh, or felt I had the ability to do that, doing it for yourself is much, much better, you know, and or learning to do it. And the same as doing the divination. Now, I know sometimes there's a, when you do a divination for yourself, it can be hard to see the answer because of all the things we've talked about with the, yeah. um, that you're just, you're bringing it so much to yourself or whatever. But in that moment, that's I think that's okay. And you, and you might look back and go, oh, hold on, that's what it was. Mm. But you can only go from where you are now and, you know, what's resonating with you now, all of these things. Ultimately, it might prove to be wrong, but you can't be anywhere else than where you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're going to have a much better read on your own life than I will by doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I agree with you. Ultimately, ultimately, though, I think, it's like what we were saying earlier, I think that every card you pull, or every rune you pull, or every ohm, or whatever it is, I think it's, for me, the best way to see it is that it's another pair of eyes on looking at a situation yeah. and it's another perspective that you either haven't seen before or that you've dismissed, but the card or whatever, ruin or whatever, <laughs> six dead turtles lying up in front of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, a, cow, a cow with his eye removed. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is, like, and, 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 that t- and that will say to you, right, look at it from this archetype how it's yeah, yeah yeah do you know and um and s- and see see it from the level of advice from a friend rather than advice from god yeah. you know that like if, if you were having coffee with spud say i was having coffee and i said oh you know my mother what's the story what's the crack whatever and you give a response to me whatever i wouldn't you don't have to take it as gospel you don't have to take that and you're, that, that it's the truth but you can go all right now i understand where you're coming from that's an interesting way of looking mm. at it and i can do it that's i think it's the, the best way to approach reading a divination not from yeah. because if you get into the voice of God or the truth of you know telling your divinity whatever it is you're going to really get caught on the self-fulfilling prophecies mm-hmm. and uh, the, you know the causing the stuff to happen that's, that came up and a divination could be completely wrong anyway it could be the wrong advice you know at the like at the wrong time it's it's not yeah. an infallible system by any means but even even to spin on that it's, it could be the wrong advi- advice to make you see that See, it's the wrong, wrong or advice. something like yeah. that, or it can be mm-hmm. the wrong advice to, to um, yeah, to, to to make you more hold fast in that your 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 decision is correct anyway, and that's that the, the thing is tempting you or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the, the therapist saying something to you to annoy you. Yeah, to annoy you, and then yeah. spending five days stewing on it and coming back. Hey, you fucking last week. What the <laughs> fuck was that? And she's like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yeah, that Arr. annoyed that annoyed you. That that that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like I've been played with here. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I paying you money for you to annoy me? I could just go to the, go to the kitchen for that. You know? But also, within that, also don't think that, the, you know, that it's the same thing people have with servitors or with any kind of thing. Don't feel that, don't give your control of your life away to a, a tarot deck or to any kind of thing. Don't feel like, oh, it's it's leading my life. It's telling me to do things, whatever. It's, don't do any of that. You know, always continue. C- 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 uh, Keep your own autonomy and your own sovereignty. Yeah, it's, it's you know, the tool. It's, like, it's a it's tool. The, yeah, driving the car. The car. You know, you you yeah. drive the car. It's same riding the horse. Okay, the first few months you won't know how to turn the horse, but <laughs> but like, <laughs> you know, the horse knows where to go, but he'll also go off into the pasture if you don't pull him in. Like, so you have to, yeah, you're 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 in control of it. Yeah, you know? and like you know, you go to those like the is it tarot tarot X. It's full of all these mad interpretations for all the cards, and it all all it takes is like one thing to click with you and then you're ah that's what it is because there could be tons and tons especially with the, the Toth one with all mm. the symbolism and all involved in it and you'd be like yeah no nothing 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 and then there could be oh the cat at the bottom left hand corner because it has the left hand up that means that ah yeah 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 that's no. it 
Or even you look at a card, like say even one of the 40 servants, whatever it is, and you think, well, this, the moon to me means something different than what I said it is. Do, use it, that, if that's what it means to you. Mm-hmm. But again, with the thing of don't tell other people that's what it means, though. That's, you know, if it's resonating for you in some way, great. Which is why I say what well, the first thing you should do is, like, and people say it with tarot decks, right? Now, is the first thing you should do is look through a deck and before you read the, the, the manual and see what, are, you know, what's jumping out, what things mean to you or whatever. And if there's some sort of idea you're getting about a card that then subsequently isn't fulfilled in the manual, then, you know, take note of it and, and just, you know, that's what, how, how it approaches to you. Because obviously with things like the father or the mother, everyone has a different, slight different variation on, on that. And it might, you yeah. know, uh, you know, but it's worth considering what the original again the same. Thing. Is, well, like, All the chaos magic thing. It's worth considering what the original thing was too. Of course, yeah. Like, there's something I do with, with with the forty that I don't do with the tarot. Even though you can do it with the tarot, and that's the kind of um, uh, using it as an archetype for advice. Anything like pulling, like you're okay. You have some problem, and you're like, right, I I I would ask the mother archetype for this, so you get out, get out that. Whereas like, you can't, you can and you can't do that with tarot. You can well, you, do it. You can do it. With it, the, fe- it feels better with, with, yeah. the, with your with your forty servants. You can do it with the major you know? kind in, in, yeah, in you, you can section. definitely do it. Yeah, just yeah. for me, it just feels more mm-hmm. tangible or something with, with yours. You know. Yeah, yeah I, well, I, I like doing I that agree. as well. Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I like doing that as well because yeah. sometimes you're just like, ah, what the fuck is this situation? So. I don't know, get out whichever card, gate opener, or even the fixer, whoever. Mm. Say, right, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? And sometimes it can be wildly predictive too, but I, I, I would still probably contend that, that well, maybe, maybe you are, you know, tapping into the Akashic records or some sort of thing. Maybe. Who's, who's, I'll rule nothing out, of course, because, you know. I've been wrong previously about things, you know. <laughs> Once. But, uh, yeah, what, what, there was that Tuesday that uh, I was wrong about something. Um, but I'd say that largely it's coming from a point of part of you that knows something that you don't know, um, because th- that definitely exists. You know, you know, it's the same thing. It's the same thing that emerges in dreams. It's you know, dream weavers, mm. <laughs> as, as it was coming up. But uh, and some that you know, and, and when it's when it is you know completely perfect and right or whatever you know they accept that too you know that's the whole thing of like when the magic works acknowledge that it works yeah. too you know uh, but uh you know but always you know contain it from without uh, in in within its own little thing you know that don't try to i don't know, make a bigger deal out of it but don't, also don't try to lessen it it's, it's, as well yeah don't forget like you have to keep your tarot in a in a black bin bag yeah um and you can't buy to, you can't uh, buy your own deck ever. yeah no you uh you you have to find them on the street, um, you uh, you uh, the first thing you do is uh, burn the deck, burn the, burn the box, burn the person burn, who gave you the, the deck. The deck. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's proper tarot people, yeah, burn yeah, the people. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you have to curse the person who bought you yeah. the deck. Set the shop on uh, fire, um, close down Amazon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't hold them with your left hand. Uh, don't let it, yeah, don't let don't let anyone touch them. Uh, that, that's good advice though. Just don't, don't touch my stuff <laughs> any of you yeah. <laughs> yeah. you never use someone else's tarot deck that's another one I've heard you can't use it yeah Aga would never give me hers I had to play my own and then didn't like it <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I, no, I, I, I don't no I think no nah, I'm not into that stuff so mm. I'm not because I, I was I grew up fair, very very superstitious rural Catholic Ireland just incredibly anytime you see a magpie you're hello Hello, Hello, yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah. And I see two magpies. Like, yes. Yes, yeah. Victory. And you see seven and you're like, oh, a oh, secret. Pfft, gives a shit. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see four. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. Get someone pregnant. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, but I had to get rid of all that superstition in my life because it's just, it's, it's, it, it wears you down. Yeah. You know? I, I spent a long time trying to, uh, making sure I went under ladders every time I seen one just. <laughs> Now, now I kind of go, I go, well, I think probably knocking under ladders is good health and safety advice, so yeah. <laughs> I'll avoid it if I can, but I don't think uh, I'm going to, I don't throw the salt over my shoulder, I, I, I happily break mirrors, to, you know, as a hobby. Uh, <laughs> the black hat one. It's, it's is, my is, new yeah, YouTube channel, <laughs> yeah, Hobby Breaks, breaks Mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> the black hat, uh, I always see as a good thing, 
But there yeah, is me too, talk, yeah. But there is talk of it that's seen as bad. Well, I mean, it's a witch thing, isn't it? That it's or there's magic. So I was going, yeah, I'll take that. Thanks and very it, much. And it, it depends on what country you're in too, because it's like, if it crosses in front of you at home, that's bad luck. I, but I, it's, I, I, I think it's the opposite here. I think if it right, crosses okay. in front of you, then it, it leaves its magicalness behind. Oh, right. Okay, and you yeah, walk yeah. into it. But if you yeah. cross it, then, oh, you're and damned. If you, if you see a black cat and then you see the exact same black cat walking, doing exactly the same thing, that means they've changed something in the matrix. You're in the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss Felicity as quickly as you can. Was that her name? <laughs> was Felicity, wasn't it? Well, what was her name? In the matrix. Where like, am I tri- getting that name from? Trinity. Trinity, Felicity. Yeah. It was close. Close, yeah. It's, no, it's, not that far Trinity. away. Trinity, yeah, same, same amount of... Uh, what's the word? <laughs> Letters? Uh, no, when the, uh, when the... You know, the, the beats in the word. Oh, my God, my brain's gone. <laughs> I'm not going to give... tell you. It'll just yeah. annoy you. I'm not going to tell uh, you. Remember when uh, gives a clue where it, go, uh, it has syllables? Well done, Tommy's brain. <laughs> 45 next month, people. 45... Already seen hi- now. I, yeah. I think you need to hydrate, man. Your brain is, is farting on you all over the place. I've been, I've been enjoying drinking this piss. So. The piss. <laughs> um, what else is there on divination? Well, there's, I mean, you can use the tower for path working. But that's path working. That's a whole. That's a whole another mm. talk, isn't it? Um, yeah. yeah, I think just find, mess around with stuff. Find what speaks to you. Stick with that for a while. Don't be afraid to experiment. Listen to it as a friend. And it's an, another way of looking at stuff. I think that kind of sums up everything, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so there's a, we didn't watch a documentary this week because we, we thought we wouldn't have time. We still managed to talk for an hour and 20 minutes. So <laughs> there is that. Imagine we, 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 we pulled out a documentary at this point. You'd be really sad. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so what, what will we do next week? Bring out that list of fundamentals. Uh, what have we done? We've done sigils, so let me put them out. We've done uh, offerings. divination now today. We did offerings. Uh, right, so meditation, banishings, deities, ancestors, invocations and evocations, saints, angels, demons, servitors, path working, manifesting, animism, synchronicity, uh, hero's journey, and awakening gnosis. Anything that you particularly jumps out at you? We'll leave it to the listeners. Yeah, <laughs> but if we get, right in there. If, if we get no response, we'll just uh, pick one out of a hat. Yeah, we'll pick one. Tell us yeah. tell us which of those. Yeah, I'll give them again because there's no point in re- rewinding. So meditation, mm. banishings, deities, ancestors, invocations and evocations, saints, angels and demons. They're both of them. They're, they're, they're under the same kind of heading. Um, servitors, path working, manifesting, animism, synchronicity. Uh, Hero's Journey and then the last one is Awakening so let us know head on alright sounds funny okay man